What's up, guys? <laughs> I'm here on a rainy Saturday morning, and uh, I came in to work on some wood handles for my K-Bar Becker BK7, as you have been watching. And I, I was going too fast, grabbed the wrong kind of drill bit when I went to hollow out spaces for the nuts to go in and the thing just hogged out a big old hole and cracked this beautiful black walnut that my dad sent me and uh, you can see these are not going to be viable handles anymore and uh, yeah it's been a heck of a week this week um, I don't need to go into all the details of my life, but it's been a real interesting week. And uh, I just walked out of the shop and was like, you know what? I don't want to finish this project. I don't want to be a YouTube creator today. I don't want to be watched <laughs> by people because I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. Um, and I just sat down thinking about it praying about it that's something that I do and I encourage you like if you're a guy like sometimes we don't handle feeling emotions super well but if you're somebody that prays if you're somebody that has faith I encourage you don't bury those things and you know if you're if you're not somebody who believes um, I encourage you like find people in your life who you can share what you're feeling with. Because the thing is, is if I bury this today and if you bury things in your life, they're just going to come up in five years and be a lot more intense. <laughs> and uh, there's no reason for you to live hiding and there's no reason for you to live in shame at the end of the day. Anyway, sorry, that got really deep, but that's where I'm at today, guys. <laughs> that is where I'm at today. Um... So as I've been reflecting about it, I was realizing, you know what? I'm not a knife maker. The purpose of this channel was never to like show you guys how cool I am and that I never make mistakes. I mean, <laughs> I'm sitting here next to my broken tripod that I had to cut a piece of wood out to, to actually work next to my 50cc scooter over here. Uh, Next to my, uh, this, this, uh, denim bag that my wife bought at a second hand store that I stole. Like, this is the, <laughs> this is the level of coolness I'm at, at the, in the storage shed, you know, where I do my projects. And I guess the purpose of this channel, I never, I never planned to make a channel. And, and the purpose of this channel was never to demonstrate that I, I am the coolest guy who does all of the most professional dialed in things. I guess the purpose of this channel was to encourage normal guys with normal jobs like me to pursue things that they have dreamed of. And I have dreamed, man, I have dreamed of making black walnut handles for my K-Bar Becker BK7. I have thought, man, that deep, once this is stained, that deep brown grain is gonna look so gorgeous next to that tactical black. It's unusual, no, not many people would think of that and but I, I think that would be cool and I guess as I've been thinking about it I guess this is maybe if you're gonna embark on pursuing dreams if you're gonna do DIY projects with uh, a hand drill and an angle grinder and a vise like I am um, you're going to to hit days like this man and you know men and women <laughs> if you're a woman you're welcome here um, you're going to hit days like this where you're in a hard week and you want to give up on your project, uh, where you feel like you don't know what you're doing because you haven't had time. You know, maybe you have kids, you know, maybe you haven't had time to research and practice all of these things. It's just something you wanted to do. And I guess I want to come to you on a real day and say, oh, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to I'm going to give this another crack. Oh, my gosh. That's bad, bad terminology there. <laughs> but I guess I just have this, this feeling that 
maybe the the biggest piece of encouragement and I guess coaching that I could give you if you're going to embark on pursuing something that's a dream for you, something that's important for you, and you're not going to have all of the fanciest tools. You're not going to have years and years of experience behind you to ensure success so that you really feel like you succeeded is have grace for yourself. Um, don't give up on yourself. If you have a crap day, when everything goes wrong, um, stand back, you know, have a breather, check in with how you're feeling and what made you feel like that before and like do your best to forgive yourself and let it go and then move on to keep pursuing that dream because man, to be honest, everything that I have done on this channel, I have been nervous. Like, <laughs> I have to remind myself to breathe when I'm sharpening knives for Pete. It's, it's like nerve-wracking. <laughs> I am a normal person. I sweat <laughs> and sigh and do all these things when I'm doing these projects because I am not an experienced knife maker. I don't have it all together. Uh, but it's my firm belief that it's important for normal people to chase down their dreams. And sometimes that lands you with, you know, having a test with Pete that outperforms every every test he's ever done at that edge angle. You know, that's that happened to me. And I want to share that with you. I want to share that what you've dreamed about is probably possible if you don't give up and if you have grace for yourself. So that's all I got today. I'm going to start making an, a new um, backside handle because I do have another piece of black walnut thanks to my awesome dad. Dad, you're awesome. Um, <laughs> I probably won't film it because I just am so over <laughs> filming this, but you saw how I made the first ones and ruined the first ones. So we'll, we'll tap back into filming when I get back to this stage, but just know that uh, if you're a normal person, you can do the stuff that you dreamed of. It's, it's highly likely if you don't give up, you can accomplish it. And if you have a day like I'm having today, man, I hope and encourage and pray that you have grace for yourself and that you let it go. <laughs> anyway, woo, that got real. Uh... I guess uh, for now I will just say a true peace out from the home slice. Take care of yourselves, guys.